जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मीतोश्वा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु Shri Ram Krishna's instruction for those who have already kept one foot in the yoga path to lift the other leg from the bhoga area and totally be merged in the yoga, attain, give to this world and go. The master returned to the sense of plane. while talking you know he was taught till now he was talking in half conscious state he is coming down from the samadhi sthiti as he is coming down little by little he is speaking to navadvip now we see master returning to the sense plane that means he is becoming fully aware of the external world referring to his samadhi he said to navadvip some say that the state of mind is a disease i say to them how can one become how can one become conscious unconscious by thinking of him who is consciousness has made the whole world consciousness him how can one become unconscious by thinking of him whose consciousness has made this whole world conscious so master returned to the end referring to his samadhi he is said to navadvip he is telling about shri ram krishna he is telling about himself uh, this is a kind of disease you see even the modern science considers all these as abnormalities which we see some people see it as a miracle some people see it as a hallucination and and the one who knows alone knows mm. because what is the phala swarupa what are you going to get in the end total freedom from the nature and when do we say man is abnormal and when do we say he is wise he is full of wisdom he is full of knowledge here the secular and the spiritual differ, differ in secular world all behave in a particular way Behave, behaving that way is normal behaving in any way other than the mob is considered as abnormal his thinking may be his behavior may be his acting may be his reacting may be if it is not goes if it doesn't go with the normal course then they consider as abnormal but normal and abnormal is this not decided by what they are but what are they going to reach in the end some people hmm, whole heartedly devoting to the world itself uh, they are craving they are running uh, some scientists you can see they are unaware of the external world family life nothing they are aware in depths of their this one uh, they don't eat properly they don't speak to people properly uh, how much pain the how uh, house people might be feeling oh all pay people take their family and go for joyful rides they live a happy comfortable life but what is this man he is always somewhere lost himself what is the purpose of his living 
but this what he is going to give to the world and go whether it is newton or einstein in what state of mind they might not have given happiness to their family they might not have given joy to others during that period of their struggle or striving many scientists uh, in a very way their thought their um, way of behavior everything is different from others doesn't tally with uh, every person would call him a mad person useless person who doesn't know how to take care of himself and his family but what they achieved in life and what they gave to the world and went is we cannot return that those debts similarly in the spiritual world also here the end how what is the there also he may be behaving in an entirely different it may absolutely look like he is speaking to himself he is standing and shouting himself he is weeping he is laughing he is dancing and for people normal people it looks like a madman even me myself have been many time affected by this kind of behavior long back i was i used to come go to um, uh, ramkrishna math in as a volunteer uh, during my early days going to math so i used to go and spend the whole day on saturday sunday and then stay there saturday night sunday whole day sunday again come back because sunday we have totally leisure many many of the days and as a volunteer all duties and so many things we used to do the heavy cleaning of each departments all repairs and renewals so many small small works we used to do and some purchases we used to do the on the way home and on the ba- back uh, i used to carry monthly ones then cells uh, batteries for torch and other purposes in those days this uh, electrical the, this one was mostly all people dependent on torches which move with cell so a heavy expenditure of cells because night watchmen here they now and then electrical failure all this now this uh, led torches one cell if you put it comes for 6 months <coughs> in those days <coughs> if you put three cells it will come for 15 days it is to be very expensive also i used to bring each time every month what is their requirement once it was it used to be almost standard one box of it i have to go in a way which is one way i have to push my vehicle and go uh, cycle and go i used to go by cycle so i was pushing and uh, uh, i was going Uh, i saw a beggar like man standing almost half naked his face looked like uh, he has not taken food for many days and he is standing and looking at the sky nobody is looking at nobody is caring for him uh, in the ashram they had given me two plantains and uh, money of the ashrama also was there in my pocket i thought i can get the money or anything i want at home let me give this to that person because his need was felt i went to queue the i just stood down the cycle pushing and i it is leaning on me 
and I want to stretch this hand to give. How he jumped back. He was recalled to see money and food. He started shouting, give, give this to God, not to me. Why are you giving this to me? Khuda ko de do, khuda ko de do. Mujhe kyu de rahe ho? He is running away. Then he went few steps back and came to beat me. I, uh, one way I ran, climbed the cycle and ran away. Then I stood apart and saw him. After going a little away, I was. He is unaware of the external world. He is lost in the thought of God. He is looking at the vast sky joyfully. A little food is sufficient for this body to survive. He has got that and nothing more he needs for the day. He is getting lost in the awareness of death. From distance I bowed down and went away. See how they, their behavior, the way in which he started reacting to these things, which all people love and want, they don't want that. Uh, give it to God, he is telling. Uh, so, this uh, way of behavior we find many times in our lives, but we overlook. I too did not understand, but I had already come into the fold of Sri Ramakrishna. I could understand a little. Oh, maybe that, like uh, Thakur says, a gaul like person, he says to Hriday, look, he is a realized soul, go and get knowledge from him. When he goes near, he utters in a word, he asks, give me Brahma Jnana. He says, when you look upon, when you are able to see the dirty water in the gutter and the Ganga in the river, are same, know that you have attained Brahman. That is the. Then he starts asking another question. <laughs> then you see him taking a brick and start running behind him. So that Rade uh, comes running out of fear. Look at their behavior. Another person sitting somewhere and eating in the dirt. So, we very difficult to find out unless we enter that realm of spiritual world, we will not know. It looks like a strange behavior. So, also Sri Ramakrishna, many people think, uh, what is the ultimate result is you are free from nature. No more bindings of nature, no more action and reaction, you are free from the law of cause and effect. You can, if you kill a man also, it doesn't affect you. If you love a man and serve also, the karma doesn't bind you. To that extent of freedom from nature, you are eternally free from nature. Now, Sukha Dukha, Janma Mrityo, the birth and death cycle, the what joys and Sufferings you have to pass through, nature cannot inflict upon you. Birth also is at your will. You can take any number of births or dissolve forever and be merged in the absolute. So that freedom is the sign, freedom of the soul from all bondages and suffering forever and attainment of eternal unending bliss and peace. So this is what is assured. Now, who is running after the few things of the world, sense enjoyments and undergoing tremendous suffering, we call him normal man. His mind is normal. His health. And by whom, who enjoys that bliss of God, we call him mad. So, this Sri Ramakrishna is pointing out, some say that this state of mind 
is a disease. I say to them, how can one become unconscious by thinking of him whose consciousness has made this whole world conscious? Mani Sen said goodbye to the invited Brahmins and Vaishnavas with suitable gifts of money. He offered five rupees to Sri Ramakrishna. The latter said he could not possibly accept any money. But money, ins money is insisted. The master then asked him in the name of his guru not to press him. Money requested him again to accept the offering. Sri Ramakrishna asked him in a distressed voice whether he should take the money. The disciple made vehement protest and said, No, sir, by no means. So, the uh, now people who are around, how much of uh, the teaching has entered? Because it is a request from a sincere devotee to take that. And all people are watching. Hmm. And he himself could not touch money by any means. Think or experience or hold or preserve nor utilize. It is same money and clay is same for him. Samaloshtashma hmm. kanchana. For him, uh, how can you may differentiate again between the two? Hmm. This is, uh, he cannot accept. It is like somebody giving me a stone, take this. And it doesn't serve any purpose, nor has it any value. Uh, with gold and money, it is like that. And those who have seen, this scene, I, I at least feel if not in this life, they will be no more able to touch money or hold anything in their life in future. That much of total renunciation. Friends of Mani Sen gave the money to Rakhal requesting him to buy some mangoes and sweets for the master. Sri Ramakrishna said to him, I have definitely said to money, money that I would not accept money. Feel free now, but Rakhal has accepted it. His is now responsibility. Sri Ramakrishna accompanied by means indirectly also he doesn't want to accept it. Hmm. Sri Ramakrishna, accompanied by the devotees, took a carriage to return to Dakshineshwar. They were going to pass the temple garden of Matisil on the way. For a long time, the master had been asking him to take him to the reservoir in the garden in order that he might teach him how to meditate on the formless God. Mm. He wanted, Master had been asking him to take him to the reservoir. Means a huge reservoir, pond is there, in that garden a pond is there, that he might teach him how to meditate on formless God. Mm. He wants to show how exactly the meditation on for bless God, it can be done. With actual practical experience, there were tame fish. There were tame fish in the reservoir. Nobody harmed them. Visitors threw puffed rice and other by bits of food into the water and the big fish came in swamps to eat the food. Fearlessly the fish swam in the water and sported 
there joyfully. Coming to the reservoir, master said to him, Look at that fish. Meditating on the formulas of God is like swimming joyfully like these fish in the ocean of bliss and consciousness. Uh, Revered Yachishwaranaji Maharaj uh, used to give these exercises to many of the sadhakas, uh, both the Dvaitins and Advaitins, Advaitic way of meditation, hmm, and how to experience this bliss of God, Ananda, of take it Dvaitin itself. God with form, he is thinking of God with form, he is accepting God with form, he also enjoys the presence of God like a fish experiencing its freedom and joy. Now, Shura, uh, Yachurranji Maharaj used to tell, uh, sit in calm posture, joyfully, uh, Forget the whole world. Dive within a few minutes of calmness. Imagine a vast land and look around. No other things are there. Vast sky above. Now imagine yourself to be a huge bird. Hmm and fly, start flying, your wings, slowly beating the wings, go up to the highest you, that you can. Now go on gliding in that sky without beating the wings. Gliding is just moving about in the sky without beating the wings. Now you see what a joyful state, no action. There is no action. You are calm and just gliding. And know that the space in which you are gliding is Satchidananda Sagara. The bliss, the bliss absolute, the Ananda Sagara. In that, experience that as long as you can. This is one of the exercises he used to say. Even if you want to come back to the form, slowly start landing on somewhere in a place where form can be seen. Come down. As you come down, you start seeing many objects. See your Ishtadevata also. And for another exercise he used to give for his disciples is to think of a vast ocean. And the ocean is a calm ocean without waves. And into it you have dived with yourself. And you are a huge fish. And vast ocean. And freely you are moving about in that joy. The ocean itself is Ananda Sagara. Satchidananda Sagara. And look within. You are a part of it. You are also the same divine. As divine, you are floating in the divine. As Ananda Swarupa, you are floating in the Ananda Sagara. So, this, these exercises he is to give to his disciples. Do it. Whether you, after that you want to do your Upasana, Finish this part. This is the ultimate reality you are going to reach. Uh, even you, with whatever path you take, whether any path to God, ultimately you will come to that ocean of bliss, Satchidananda Sagara. So enter that Satchidananda Sagara. And the, you may take a form and enjoy the form what remains is ānanda only. The second thing, you may take formless, what remains ultimately is ānanda-sāgara only. 
this and then you come down to look at the world. The same manifestation. Imagine, understand the same manifestation. So, Satchinanda itself is in the form of the universe. That itself is in the form of so many living beings, an ant and an elephant. The Satchinanda Sagara has become and try to experience the same joy, same bliss, being yourself divine. You are seeing every object, every being as divine. So, this whatever path, bhakti path you want to take, all right. You will reach the same ultimate goal of being a fish in the vast ocean of Satchidananda Sagara and the fish itself is divine. If you are vast ocean, hmm, then the ocean itself is Satchidananda Sagara and you are experiencing it, you as the bird itself is divine. That is the Ananda Swarupa floating in the Ananda Sagara. Ananda Swarupa floating in the Ananda Sagara. Looking at the world, same as divine, he is seeing divine everywhere. Being Ananda, he is experiencing the Ananda Sagara as the world. So, whatever path you take, Karma Yoga you take, same end. Jnana Yoga you take, Bhakti Yoga you take, Raja Yoga you take, Mantra Yoga you take, whatever path you take, the end is that Satchidananda Sagara. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu